Hello and welcome. Uh, last time I did a comment on the YouTube uh, video about the working with the transparency on the VB scripting. I found that it could be good option for my VB scripting training and right now we are trying to make this step by step. So we will create the RGB function and after this we will create also the transparency function. So first of all we need to create the rectangle and this rectangle will be focused and changed by the scripting and for for this we need to set off the global color scheme so we can control uh, the colors and we can go with this functionality. So we have the rectangle now we need to have some tags inside the tag management and inside the tag management I will create some the red, green, blue and transparency. So I can make this on the screen and I can change this uh, dynamically on my screen and I can modify this during the WinCC is running. So it could be also the PLC tags so it could be good. Both will be the unsigned 32 bits and I think it's enough. We could also use the binary tag, but I think we can set up the dynamization with the transparency from 0% to 100%. So right now let's put the red, blue, green and the transparency on screen. Now I will put some IO fields. On this IO field we can change the value of our tags we created before and it could be also good because we can make some settings during the WinCC is running and yeah let's make this. Okay, now I will put some button. On this button we will create the VB scripting and this VB scripting will create for us the change the color of this rectangle with the transparency option and for the RGB, so red, green, blue. So we need to read the data from our IO fields and make the RGB function first and this function will create for us the color for our rectangle first on our screen. So I have some tags, internal tags like red, green, blue, trans and result. And uh, yeah, let's first read data from our IO fields. HME runtime dot tags. Now we need to put the name red and we need to put the dot read because we want to read data from our IO field. The second one, the blue and the green, the same. Now on the result we have the screen items, the rectangle first and this rectangle first has the property, hmm. the color, the back color, I don't remember, I will check this and we can use right now in this simple function, the RGB functionality, so we have the red, blue and green. So the RGB functionality is changing the value of the object of the property color and should change our RGB function mm, during the WinCC is running. I need to set the name. Okay, it's rectangle first. Let's try this inside the uh, WinCC is running. Mm, 255 on the red set mm, it's not working let's try again I think we did some mistakes with the property 
the color, the background color is the object property. So it should be dot back color. Okay. Let's check the property inside the scripting tool. So we have the example basics. And this example is also available on our WinCC VB scripting training. It's the property back color. It's not color your, it's color. Mm, okay. Save, run. Hmm, it still not, doesn't work. One more try. Ah, I don't need this result. It's because I want to read the data from the RGB and set this into the back color. As you see, it's working. So I have some IO fields and the color is changing automatically with my RGB functionality. Now we can go with second function that is available only on the training. So we have the RGB plus transparency. It's the more complicated function. So we need to read data from the transparency. And read. And now we can't use the RGB function because RGB has only three parameters and we don't use the transparency here. So we need to calculate the RGB in different way. As you see, I'm just calculating the, the color in different way. And now we will have additional parameter for the transparency. And this transparency will work with these functions right now. plus blue and now the transparency okay you have the calculations here you can use this start and now we have the object without transparency and the object with transparency Mm, this calculations is something wrong, but as you see, the transparency, it's working. So you can set up the transparency by the VB scripting. It's 99 transparency percent, 5. So we change the value of our transparency. Let's put the red on it. Okay, as you see, the RGB without transparency is set and with transparency is 50% uh, uh, of occupation of this color. So as you see, it's possible to make this on the VB scripting with some small calculations and you can use this on your application. So have fun and let's go to next lectures.